Portrait of Pirates figure unboxing and review. Nami. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, and this, of course, is my partner, Logan. Please uh, stop with the funny faces. I'm sorry. Here to bring you another unboxing video in our Portrait of Pirates series of unboxing videos and reviews. But now real quick, because it is the day after Christmas, and I just wanted to ask you, now you had uh, a nice Christmas yesterday? Yes. Good, good. Did you were, did you get some good presents? Yes. What kind of presents did you get? Would you like to share with everybody? or A cat. You got a cat? Yes. Yeah. Like a live cat? Yep, yeah, an actual cat. Not just a picture of a cat? Nope, not just. You had a live cat? Yep. Wow, that's pretty awesome, man. Who got you that, Santa? Yep, Santa. Santa I mean, got no, you? No, 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 um, you got it. Me? Yeah. I don't even like cats. And mom. Oh, and mom. Uh, what did you decide to name the cat? Zorro. Zorro? You, wait, you mean like Zorro like that Zorro? Yes. Like Roronoa Zorro with the three swords style? Yes. But he's a cat. Can he hold swords? Yes, he Maybe can. Maybe we'll dress him up for next Halloween. Huh? Yeah, we'll dress him up for next Halloween. Okay. So. Was there anything else uh, that was important that, that you got that you'd like to mention? This or? shirt. Well, that's a nice shirt. That's a, is that like, can we see that one there? Oh, yeah, we can see it in the camera. The Skylander Swap Force, which is uh, an awesome game, and right? And Call of Duty Ghost shirt. Oh, and you got a Call of Duty Ghost shirt, yeah. And then a Nerf gun. And then a Nerf gun, yeah. And you got some other things, too, but we'll save that for another video. So... I think we should no, probably get on with the unboxing. Okay, be careful now, because remember, you're not quite seven yet, so I don't know if you can uh, wield a deadly weapon over here, you know? Uh, I can wield it. Oh, and here, of course, is our is our box that we need to open up, so you know what it is, but uh, here. Uh, we're, we're, Let me, we'll, 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 we'll start oh, over shit. here, and then we'll dig right in there. I got it. Okay, now be careful. Cut down the loop. Don't cut it into the box too much, though. You don't want to cut the figure in half. Yeah. I don't want to go like this. Exactly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, don't do that. Now, don't even play around like that. Goodness gracious. The knife's not that sharp, but the last thing I want you to do is cut yourself up. Look at me. I cut myself up. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Disgusting. That's what happens. Show that in go. the picture. Oh, no. That's, I've lost a piece of my thumb in an unfortunate cooking accident. I was cooking up. Oh, here are more bubbles for bubble wrap. Yay. Uh, an unfortunate cooking accident. My dad accident. was cooking and he cut himself. Well, and it was an accident. It was an accident. It wasn't an accident. Like I, would, I didn't lop off a piece of my thumb because I like to. He lopped off a piece of his thumb because he liked to. Stop. All right, Goofball. You want to hold this uh, this one up here and, and show yeah. everybody what it is? Yeah. Hold it up in front of the camera there. Nobody can see. I can't really. Here, let go of the bubbles. We'll, we'll yeah. put the bubbles in a minute. Who is this? Nami. Nami? Yes. That's actually one of my favorite characters over there. Oh, boy. She's one of my favorite characters, too. Yeah, well, you know, she's pretty for a, a pretend uh, character in a, in a cartoon and yeah. anime, right? Uh -huh. And we're doing good in the series, too, right? Yeah. So we're, uh, we're, we're having a lot of fun. We're oh, on yeah, uh, Whiskey yeah. Peak, I think, yeah. on the series. So, yeah, All right, well, you know what we'll do is uh, we will uh, go and open this bad boy up over here, and uh, we'll take a quick uh, commercial break. And when we come back, everyone uh, can certainly see and uh, see Nami up close and personal. And uh, until the next one, right? I guess uh -huh. we will. Uh, I guess we'll catch you the next Whee! one. So, you want to say goodbye, Logue? Yep. All right. Goodbye. Here is a few of the straw hats that I currently have. And here we are with Nami out of the box. And I must say, listen, she is uh, definitely one of my favorite straw hats, if not uh, my favorite straw hat thus far. And not for all the reasons that we're zooming across right now. Um, I do believe that although these figures are very nice, that uh, in a way, especially with Nami, it seems like, and maybe I guess with Robin too, um, it just seems like they're overly sexified. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, I am a guy, I'm married, uh, I love breasts and, and asses and everything else just as much as the next man. But some of this is just a complete overkill. It takes a character that I think is really kind of cool, at least thus far in the series, and just completely, completely objectifies her. And I'm not somebody that's over here waving the flag for women's rights and, you know, it's sexist and everything else. I think it's a great figure. I think the detail is great. I think that um, really everything, I mean, even down to the log pose, the tattoo, all of it really looks nice. However, I think that putting her in a pair of jeans that are four sizes too small that are meant for like a 12-year-old boy uh, with her ass crack hanging out, 
it kind of the opposite of sexy for me. Um, it, it really is. So certainly, you know, very kind of funny, I guess, to look at. But, um, you know, overall, it just seems like, okay, why did you put her in a bikini top too that's like two sizes too small? Like a bikini top is enough. I mean, you know, yeah, she's got huge knockers and they're hanging out. I mean, <laughs> enough said, simple enough. I mean, um, anyway, so I don't want to go on and on about it too much because ultimately it does take away from, um, you know, what really otherwise is, is a great figure. Um, the detail, the painting, uh, even the ass crack, everything is really nice. I mean, the jeans even look as if they're worn and faded. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you can tell the detail, uh, the craftsmanship, the workmanship. Uh, certainly, you know, the hand painted, um, you know, aspect of it does not hurt either. And really just, I mean, everything about it, even down to the detail on the bikini top, uh, the individual strands of hair, the way they're painted, the eyes, uh, as I try to get in a little bit closer there, um, everything for a more simplistic figure that doesn't have any interchangeable parts as all the other ones uh, have had thus far. She really does have uh, a surprising amount of detail. Um, but again, like I said, just, you know, coming from the, you know, the, the aspect of really, we don't need to have like that much under boob, you know? <laughs> so, uh, again, just my opinion, um, you know, I'm certainly not trying to, uh, you know, to say that there's anything wrong with putting some of this fan service type stuff in, uh, into the manga or the anime. I just think that, that ultimately, uh, this much, you know, maybe is just uh, not as necessary as you may think. So, um, but certainly though, you know, to uh, thinking back on my comment book days, I remember too that, um, you know, many of the comic book characters, uh, the female characters, whether they were lead characters or backup characters, had the same type of thing going on. You know what I mean? Just gravity defying breasts and just, you know, just crazy, crazy slim waists, always with a form fitting, like ass hanging out type of costume, you know, skirt, latex, what have you. So I definitely can see where they're coming from. Uh, sex sells and that's just how it's always been. That's, I guess, how it's always going to be. So, um, but really, ultimately, I do like the figure. I, I do think it's very nicely detailed. Um, the only thing, and I don't really know what I guess you could put other than maybe the, her climate baton, her staff with her. This is from the Sailing Again series, but um, really I was a little bit uh, upset to see that there was no accessories, no interchangeable accessories. I mean, even, you know, a, a, a head that you could put on with maybe a different hairstyle or something like that would have been cool. Um, I do like the engraved stands, of course. Uh, you know, we have here Portrait of Pirates, the Sailing Again series, the Mugawari Pirates. Um, very, very cool stuff. So um, I, I really, really do enjoy the figure, and I don't want my rant about the overly huge uh, breasts hanging out in the ass crack to, uh, to take away from that. It is definitely a two thumbs up. Uh, it is a figure that is worth buying if you're a, f a fan of the series or if you are a fan like I am of Nami. And uh, certainly I'm looking to collect all the straw hats here, so I was glad to add this one to my collection. So uh, a good buy for you, and uh, hope everyone enjoys. Uh, thanks for watching, brothers and sisters, and we'll catch you in the next one, nation. Hey, Sanji, does this top make my boobs look big? No, Nami, your boobs make your boobs look big. Can I touch them?